Welcome to Game Theorem, where we have serious discussions about absurd entertainment. Everything that we've said has just been wrong because the system didn't want to hear it, but the people did. How do we get on, like, big networks, like the How Stuff Works Network? Zach, from an auxiliary podcast. <laughs> Otherwise known as Alchemy This. I'm Kyle. I'm Kira. And today we are going to be doing our first deep dive on another podcast, or rather a whole network of them. <laughs> yep. Now this might seem like a weird one to do, but they are probably the biggest podcast network in the world. Mm -hmm. Or at least they were one of the original ones and they had the biggest podcast out there. Yep. There are obviously competitors now, but in my opinion, they're kind of the original podcasters. Yeah, I can understand that. And I've been a fan of them for a long time before they even got as big as they were now. Yeah, I know you have been. So... I, what, what do you call that when people are like, I was I was a fan of them before they were famous, although they were still pretty famous. <laughs> <laughs> you introduced me to them, actually. See, I was a fan of the billionaire when they were only a millionaire. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I really love all their content and they have something for everyone. And we wanted to go and talk about their history because... Mm -hmm. It's it's great content. I don't think I would be able to survive my day jobs that I've had in the past without them. And some of them legitimately made me a better person. As I talked about in our episode where we talked about how much media can change you and uh, affect your lives. Remember that episode? Yeah, and I really think that they can be very informative and allow people to learn things that they otherwise wouldn't ever know about right because i mean there are podcasts that are fiction like maybe we'll talk about welcome to night vale someday right mm -hmm. but uh how stuff works they primarily do non-fiction podcasts oh that we have to do welcome to night vale someday so we, we learned okay yeah so we learned a lot by listening to these and since they're non-fiction that means when we go into our deep dive we won't be talking about a fictional universe there barely is one what we'll instead be talking about is the history of the actual company itself, mm -hmm. which is, you know, different than what we usually do. But it's something I think we really wanted to do because of how much this piece of media has touched us. Yeah, it's been really important to us. All right. So uh, I think that's all the disclaimers out of the way. Uh, all right. Let's go. Okay. July 11th, 1998. How StuffWorks was founded. Yep. Uh, by Marshall Brain. Who's that? He was a professor of something, but he founded How Stuff Works as a company. Oh, cool. So he founded it with the goal of getting nonfiction information out there. Yeah, it was originally just a website that produced articles, something they still do to this day. Oh, yeah. They do their true. own research. Oh, yeah, yeah. All right, cool. Um, October 15, 2007, Discovery bought out How Stuff Works. Yes. You know the Discovery Channel? Oh, yes. They bought it out. Oh, and they just let them keep doing what they were doing? Yeah, they kept doing the articles and whatnot. But under Discovery, they would start the next thing. Which was in April, 7, April 17, 2008, Stuff You Should Know launched. Exactly, which was their very first podcast. Mm -hmm. So as much crap as you might want to give Discovery, they at least, under their watch, this happened. Mm -hmm. And that's a great idea because Stuff You Should Know, run by Josh and Chuck, is the most downloaded podcast in history. Oh my god, really? Yes. Wow. Uh, they even mentioned on Welcome to Night Vale, actually. Oh, really? The parody version was uh, Stuff You Shouldn't Know. No one has ever heard their voices before. <laughs> <laughs> But That's funny. Josh and Chuck are very informative, and they just talk about trivia about everything all over the place. So they're really cool and enjoyable to listen to. They were the first ones I listened to, as most people do. Mm -hmm. And uh, they're the first ones I listened to, too, when you introduced it to me. They've had over a thousand episodes now. Yeah, and you like to keep an archive. I remember I came up with a way for you to archive them and rename them so you could keep all the old episodes organized. Oh, well, yeah, but we did that with more than just this one. Yeah. All okay, right. but they have many more podcasts besides just their big hit. So they followed it up with some other ones. Mm -hmm. June 9th. 2008. Stuff You Missed in History Class launched. 
Yes. So stuff you um, missed in history class, unlike stuff you should know, has gone through many different hosts. They haven't kept the same ones the whole time. Mm -hmm. Originally, it was hosted by Josh. uh, But nowadays, it's hosted by uh, Tracy V. Wilson and Holly Fry. Yeah, because uh, he moved on to like do more of the administrative stuff there, didn't he? Yes, but he still does stuff you should know. Mm -hmm. Um, But we're talking about the future. We're in 2008 right now. Yeah, sorry. But I mean, we're going to be hopping back and forth between the present and the past significantly if they are still running. Mm -hmm. But yeah, this is probably their second largest one. It's all about deep diving in history, about stuff that you're not taught about in the dysfunctional American educational system. (laughs) Which is a lot of stuff. A lot. Yep. It can be a little dry, in my opinion. Yeah, depending on who they go over. I wish they wouldn't name the episodes after the person they're talking about, but yeah, just because, what they did to yeah. draw you in. Like, yeah. you say, like, this episode's about Antonio Smith, and I'm just like... Why should I care who that is? I mean, it's a little harsh, but if you said, like, the guy that was flew the first plane to Paris or something, I'd be like, oh, m- maybe I, you know, I'll go check it out. Mm-hmm. All right. Um, June 10th, 2008, Tech Stuff launched. The, the very next day. Mm-hmm. And this one uh, had uh, Jonathan Strickland and Chris Paulette. He's still, uh, he still hosts it. One of the two hosts still is still hosting it. Yeah. And uh, they just talk about technology and everything. The very first episode was like the future of Google. And wow, that was a long time ago. <laughs> yep, that was back in 2008. <laughs> All right, July 14th, 2008, Brain Stuff Lunch. Yes, and the host was Marshall Brain, the original founder of How Stuff Works. Oh my God, really? That's yes. cool. They've That's changed, awesome. They've changed hosts since then. He's not a part of it. He's retired. Oh, uh, yeah. But uh, that one was one of those really short five-minute podcasts that gives you fun facts, and it still remains that way to this day. Oh, really? I didn't, didn't they rebrand it as short stuff or? Nope, no. It's Uh, still brain stuff? Yeah. I don't listen to it very much because you have to listen through like five minutes of ads just to get to, like, oh, I forgot to mention, that's how they make money. They make you listen to ads. Yeah. That's why I like the longer podcasts as opposed to the shorter ones. Better ratio there. Mm Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, November 25th, 2008, high speed stuff launched. Later would be rebranded as car stuff. Yes. So... I think it's an underrated one. I haven't listened to all of that one personally, but it's a fun facts about anything related to automobiles. Well, you're not really interested in cars. Yeah, but they go into a lot more than just that. It's not all about just like the mechanics and how cars work physically. Fair enough. But also anything about cars. Like they had an episode about how, uh, uh, was it Volkswagen uh, cheated the car emissions test and uh, defrauded the climate and the European Union out of millions of dollars. Oh my god, really? Yeah. What the fuck? Yeah, basically there's a test they were supposed to take and they cheated and said that the car was a lot more environmentally friendly than it really was. That's awful. That is awful. Yep. All right. December 12th, 2008. Stuff from the B-side launched. Oh wait, I forgot to mention the host from Car Stuff. You had Scott Benjamin and Ben Bolin. Of course, you know all of these hosts off the top of your head. (laughs) Not all of them. Yeah, just so you guys know, the hosts aren't written down. He's he just knows that off the top of his head. (laughs) Sorry. Okay, next one. Uh, I I already said it. December twelfth, two thousand eight. Stuff from the B side launched. Yes, this one is about music. I don't actually remember the host from this one though, Mm -hmm. but I did listen to it. It wasn't bad. Uh, they don't talked about fun facts about music and different albums and stuff and genres. February 4th, 2009, Stuff Mom Never Told You launched. Now, this is the one that changed my life because I first, uh, it was actually, it was my fourth podcast. I listened to Stuff You Should Know, then the history one, then the conspiracy one, and then Stuff Mom Never Told You. And it was about feminism. And I didn't hate feminists like like you might think from my upbringing, but... I didn't really understand what it was about. So I was like, and what? you didn't really identify with it, right? Right. So I was like, let's listen to this podcast. So I went through the whole archive. And by the time I was done with it, I was like, oh, my goodness. The patriarchy is everywhere. I see it everywhere now. <laughs> and it's not an illusion. I was like, that's, that's why I feel like I woke up. 
you know? Yeah, because you see all these things around you that you never just didn't notice yes. before. Although the anatomy episodes were not my favorite. Yeah. It was hosted uh, by many people, just like stuff we missed in history class. The most popular of which and the longest lasting were Kristen and Caroline, who were phenomenal. Mm -hmm. They've since moved on to make their own podcast, Unladylike, which is also great. Mm -hmm. uh, it was then hosted by Emily, Bridget, and now Annie. And honestly, I kind of loved and missed all the hosts. Yeah. Moving on. Uh, March 27, 2009, Super Stuffed Guide to the Economy audiobook release. Yes. Uh, stuff You Should Know had an audiobook that they produced. They were so successful. They made a book about how to survive the economy. This was 2009, after all, and people really needed advice. Yeah. This was after the economic crash. Mm -hmm. June 12, 2009, Coolest Stuff from Around the Planet video series launched. Yes. This was made by uh, Matt Frederick, and it just was about geography and fauna and flora, you know, sites around the world, culture. Cool. It was a video series and like a podcast that they've been doing up to this point. So this was them trying something new out. That's cool. All right, December 10th, 2009, Stuff from the B-Side canceled. Only lasted a year, 99 episodes. Mm -hmm. January 12th, 2010, Stuff from the Science Lab launched, and then later it was renamed to Stuff to Blow Your Mind. This one I actually haven't gone through because it was on my list of ones to go through, but they, How Stuff Works ended up launching so many podcasts, I still haven't had a chance to go back and go through the archives. Wow, that's funny that you haven't listened to this one. But the hosts, I think, are Robert Lamb and someone else. Wow, you're getting less and less knowledgeable about the hosts as we move on. I only know the ones I've listened to extensively. The other ones I have to kind of guess. Yeah, all right. But it's about science, so it's great. Mm -hmm. April 25th, 2011, Stuff to Make You Smarter launched. Uh, they decided to make a second trivia podcast. Oh. I really don't think it was a good idea, to be honest. They're covering something they've already covered before. Yep. All right, August... Chris and Rob were the hosts. Yeah. August 9th, 2011, Stuff for a Stylish Home launched. It wasn't bad. It was about home decor and stuff. Not really up my alley, but I listened to it anyway because I was bored. <laughs> That's funny. September 1st, 2011, Super Stuff Guide to Happiness audiobook released. So they had a follow-up for Stuff You Should Know. They made a book about happiness as well as the economy. Cool. By the way, if it sounds like we're just all promoting and everything, I hope that the amounts of criticism we're putting in there makes it sound like this is not an ad because it really isn't no we're <laughs> definitely not getting paid for this and yeah i we're just big fans just like we are with any other media mm -hmm. but you know you can mention uh what you have in common with some of these too kira or have yeah. we not gotten to some of the ones that you're fans of yet uh except for stuff your mom never told you not really okay uh, but but I completely agree with you with stuff your mom never told you and especially some of the more recent episodes like invisible illness and uh what what's tabletop games and tabletop games yeah those episodes i've really really resonated with all right um september 19 2011 stuff to make you smarter canceled again Not surprising yeah it wasn't a good idea so it got canceled only a few months later mm -hmm. october 3rd 2011 pop stuff launched I feel like this is probably the most underrated podcast How Stuff Works ever made. It was a podcast about entertainment and media, uh, pop Sound culture. Sound familiar? <laughs> yeah, I mean, kind of. Yeah. Uh, but uh, Tracy Wilson and Holly Fry uh, were on this episode before they would later be transferred to Stuff You Missed in History class. All right. February 9th, 2012. Stuff for a Stylish Home canceled. Just not popular. Yeah. Uh, November 2nd, 2012, Stuff They Don't Want You To Know video series launched. Yeah, so you had Stuff You Should Know, then Stuff They Don't Want You To Know. It was comp conspiracy theorist stuff. Yeah, cool. All right. November 27th, 2012, Stuff Of Genius video series launched. That was essentially just a video equivalent of Stuff You Should Know. Ah, Where okay. it was just, you know, fun facts and whatnot, trivia, generic. All right. January 19th, 2013, Stuff You Should Know television series launched a single season run. Yes, they made a TV show on the Discovery Channel based on Stuff You Should Know. That's funny. Honestly, like it got poor ratings and it was canceled, but 
I thought it was pretty good. It was really like a more informative version of The Office. Yeah, I really don't think they should have canceled have it. You, you haven't watched it, have you, Kira? No, I haven't, we but should... you say it's good, and I trust your judgment. Yeah, like, they they had some pretty funny moments, like, like they had a mean boss, kind of like Michael Scott in The Office. Oh, really? That's yes. funny. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you want to keep going? Um, okay, sure. February 15th, 2013, Forward Thinking launched. Now, that one was a futuristic sci-fi kind of podcast. Which you're very into. It was like tech stuff, but they talked about science that didn't exist yet, or maybe in the near future. They talked about where technology was going, as opposed to where it's been. Oh, that sounds really cool, actually. Yeah, I never got to finish the whole thing, but I listened to it here and there. Mm. It was hosted by Jonathan Strickland. Uh, I think Lauren Vogelbaum and someone else, Scott, maybe. Okay. All right. March 6, 2013, Pop Stuff Cancelled. And that's when Tracy and Holly got shifted to Stuff You Missed in History Class, which is one reason Stuff You Missed in History Class is not my favorite podcast. They are very informative, but I can't help but feel like it's, as someone who who loves talking about in a podcast about yeah. pop culture and media and whatnot, I'd hate to have just been shifted onto a history class thing without my say so. Yeah, I get what you mean. And I know that they are still really into like fictional media and games and movies and stuff. Yep. All right. October twenty fifth, twenty thirteen. Stuff they don't want you to know relaunched as a podcast. Prior to this, Stuff They Don't Want You to Know was not a good show. Uh, the video series were very short, did not give a lot of information. Uh, they were what you would think of as a conspiracy theory show. When they turned into a podcast, it started becoming, I think, something greater, something more to where it is today. It's run by uh, Matt, Frederick, uh, Noel Brown, and Ben Bolin. Oh, wait, did they do the episode on insults, or was that just behind the bastards? No, 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 they did that. They did the. Uh, they did a whole bunch of things. One of their first ones was Edward Bernays, the founder of advertising. Oh, my God. Uh, oh, so, God. I Okay, then, yeah, this is the podcast that I re- one of the ones I like. They revealed the fact that conspiracies often are true. Now, there are many ridiculous ones out there, and sometimes they'll talk about it and even debunk it. But they talk about many conspiracy theories that are based in fact. Didn't they tell – did they talk about the ones where I think it was the FBI or CIA was putting drugs into African-American neighborhoods? They talked a lot of ones where the CIA was doing bad stuff. Like the CIA come up more than you would think, <laughs> or maybe exactly as much as you would think, <laughs> but, depending <laughs> on who you are. But I feel like they're a very progressive uh, version of what a, a conspiracy realist podcast could be. Yeah, they like I said, they literally did an episode on incels on the incel community. I feel like they're they kind of uh, are a bit of a Trojan horse for the more conservative listeners because they yeah. don't they don't come out about it. They they try to come out rationally, but you know, I mean, you know how rational rational rationality will end up turning out to be. Yeah. Right. Oh, by the way, uh, on their episode about incels, shout out to ContraPoints. Okay. Yeah. But again, that was just one episode. They've had many others that were great as well. Yeah, I know. But ContraPoints is in the same vein as them. Like, she, like they had she's one, pretty cool. Like, they had one episode talking about all the conspiracies behind Clinton. Oh, really? And then one behind Trump. Oh, right? my God. That's so cool. They were completely factual in it and didn't, like, they, they talked about all the fake conspiracies, but also the ones that actually had some merit behind them. That's cool. Okay, let's move on, though. All right, January 21st, 2014, Stuff of Genius canceled. Yeah, the video series only lasted a few years. April 21st, 2014, Discovery sold how stuff works to Blue Cora. Yeah, so Discovery would sometimes force them to make episodes about stuff to just promote their own content. Blue Cora really never made them do that. Yeah, so this that's is, cool. This is a good transfer of power. Mm-hmm. Like, there's one episode Stuff You Should Know made about the underwater cat that learned to scuba dive. They would later say, full disclosure, Discovery made us do that episode. <laughs> That's funny. All right. Um, September 5th, 2014, Coolest Stuff from Around the Planet canceled. So you notice they're starting to cancel some of their video stuff. Mm-hmm. All right. September 16th, 2015, Money Stuff launched a two-episode run. I don't know what the point of that was. 
fiscal responsibility maybe for an hour? Maybe they tried to put it out and it just didn't get enough traction. Or maybe they it was a half-hearted attempt. Maybe not everyone was behind it. I don't know. Yeah. January 14, 2016. The Stuff of Life launched a five-month season run. Now, this was awesome. Uh, this was done by either Julie Douglas or Lauren Vogelbaum. I get them mixed up sometimes. But uh, it it talked about a lot of deep issues, and it was the first time they tried to make a season of content, not just making content every day as part of their day job, but like really heavily producing it and talking about something really deep. Like there was stuff about uh, abortion and uh, what's it called when a child dies during pregnancy? Um, miscarriage. That, yes, miscarriage. Uh, you know, deep stuff. Or, or hard to swallow stuff. Mm-hmm. April 25th, 2016, How Stuff Works Now launched. Now, this was their attempt at making a news podcast where they would cultivate. Oh, really? Yes. They, <laughs> they, would, would, they would later do a much better one. <laughs> I mean, it, it, they were short, they were very factual, and not much else. And they, also, there's not much of a point to listening to them now. They because. would, And they would rotate out hosts very frequently. They would use most of the, just their writing staff as hosts, mm-hmm. uh, like Eves Jeffco, Robert Lamb, etc. Mm-hmm. And. Yeah, they would just take articles that they had published that day. So then it was good news, but yeah, not as entertaining. Yep. All right. July 14, 2016, Blue Chorus sold How Stuff Works to Open Mail. Yep. Just, you know, those conglomerates that no one knows about, like Alphabet. Mm hmm. All right. Um, October 12, 2016, Forward Thinking canceled. Yeah, unfortunately it canceled. It got a several year good run, and I don't really know why they canceled it. It seemed like a good show to me. January 14, 2017, The Stuff of Life began its second five-month season run. So they got a second season, and this was just after the Trump election. Mm. So they talked a lot about politics and what, like, and, and the uh, the strikes and the movements against the ultra-conservative right. Yeah. So this was when How Stuff Works kind of tipped its head and revealed that it was a progressive company. Yeah. <laughs> I mean... They were always such a fact-based company. They were always kind of a progressive company because of that. Yeah, because the facts have a liberal <laughs> bias. But, what a surprise. But I think they tried a lot harder in their earlier days, especially because they're based out of Atlanta, mm-hmm. to try to be more centrist and both sidesy, which I think they just had to forego because that doesn't have the facts on its side. Mm-hmm. All right, February 23rd, 2017, Food Stuff Launched. Which was a podcast about food, which was hosted by Annie Reese and Lauren Vogelbaum. Yes, they're cool. I like them. Um, I wish they would do more fictional food episodes. Imagine if they had one about Nuka Cola. Oh my God, that'd be awesome. Yeah. May 31st, 2017, How Stuff Works Now canceled. And there's a reason for that. Yep. Oh, uh, wait. Um,. Food stuff. So they did do some episodes about fictional food? Yeah, they had one about butterbeer from Harry Potter. Ah, they gotta do more. Those are so cool. So June 1st, 2017, Part-Time Genius launched. So this is the first time we have a non-stuff episode yeah. or a, a podcast series. Yeah. And What's this one about? It's another trivia one. Uh-huh. And it's kind of corny, in my opinion, but it's good. Uh, They essentially decided, like, okay, let's do another trivia one, but let's give it to these other people. Let's bring in more talent. Because they were making so much money off of the podcast deal. They decided in 2017, we are going to expand like we never have before. Yeah. Because before, they would release a podcast every few months, maybe, right? Mm -hmm. And that's going to start accelerating. You're going to start seeing that. Because we're 2017, we're only halfway through this episode. Yeah. Okay. Um, so Part-Time Genius is hosted by Mangesh and, oh, sorry, he goes by Mango. I forgot the other guy, John, Jack, Bob, Greg, something like that. (laughs) (laughs) Okay. September 25th, 2017, the Daily Zeitgeist launched. And with- Zeitgeist for life. With this launch, you know, that's why they canceled How Stuff Works now, because How Stuff Works, when they create all their new podcasts, they, they had the Atlanta division, which is, uh, directed by Josh of Stuff You Should Know. But they create a new division in Los Angeles that's the comedy division of How Stuff Works, which is led by Jack O'Brien, formerly a writer of Cracked. Yep, and Jack O'Brien and Miles Gray, Gray his co-host, hosts, yeah, hosts the Daily Zeitgeist, which is 
our news podcast that we listen to like every morning. Yeah, they have, they have, it's a daily podcast with daily news. And they manage to be really entertaining with it. And they have guests that give unique uh, perspectives with every episode. I forget, is it out by the time you get podcasts in the morning or are you listening to the previous days? Like, every morning I listen to the newest one. The newest one? Yes. Awesome. Yeah. But I mean, it just helps me get my day going. Mm-hmm. Uh, sometimes, you know, I mean, a lot of times the value of the podcast is dependent on how much news there is that day. But, you know, this is the Trump era we're talking about. So there's so, a scandal every single day. Yeah. So they've had they've had a lot of news almost every day. But I really do like how they're just in your face about 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 facts. They don't try to play the whole centrist. Well, it could be either way. Yeah. They talk about the news as it is. Even on the slow news days, they just talk about whatever is going on culturally. Some of their guests would eventually go on to hold their own podcasts. Like Jamie Loftus is a frequent guest. Yeah, I love Jamie Loftus. She's so awesome. But let's move on and talk about some of their other podcasts. All right. October 2nd, 2017, Tech Stuff Daily launched. And they wanted to kind of follow up with that idea and we'll talk about the news that comes out with regard to tech and technology. Mm-hmm. All right, October 18, 2017, Ridiculous History launched, which I actually pr- enjoy. I listened to the episode about the, the beer flood. That that was a good one. It's honestly my least favorite podcast they make that I actually do listen to. <laughs> really? So there's some that I don't really listen to, but out of the ones I listen to, it's my least favorite. Mm. And it's mostly just because I feel like everything they talk about is a little procedurally generated. They try to talk about... Uh, talk about weird things that you haven't heard before. But honestly, I've listened to so many of Stuff You Should Know and Stuff You Missed in History class. Half the time I have heard about them before. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I like it. I it, enjoy it. It's Ben Bolin and Noel Brown. And it's still good. I just I don't feel like there's much unique that they bring to the table that they don't already cover in the How Stuff Works network. Mm-hmm. Besides, I already get to hear their, their nice voices on Stuff You They All Want You to Know. And I like that one more. Yep. All right, October 31st, 2017, Movie Crush launched. This is by Chuck from uh, Josh and Chuck from Stuff You Should Know. Mm-hmm. And they talk about is movies it and whatnot. Is still going? Yeah, yep. Yeah. Okay. He sits down with all the huge celebrities because by this point, Chuck is a huge celebrity. Yeah. <laughs> and honestly, it's probably their most conservative podcast. Oh, really? Because they have such an idolization of 80s movies, even Um, though those movies are so regressive. Yeah. All right. And that's why I don't really care for it, even though I do like Chuck. Mm Mm-hmm. Okay. um, November 28th, 2017, Omnibus launched. It's a good podcast. It's hosted by Ken Jennings and John Roderick. Eh, I don't like it that much. Well, okay, Ken Jennings, he's he he he's a he was a millionaire kind of thing. He won the, a game show with a trivia contest. Was it Jeopardy or who wants to be a millionaire? One or the other. Mm-hmm. And then John Roderick's a musician. I didn't know that. Uh but their whole thing is like they do trivia and whatnot, but the entire conceit of the podcast is the world is surely going to end soon. So every episode is a time capsule for the future generations that dig up this podcast. Mm-hmm. That's funny, because the world will end soon. And they spend half of every podcast meandering about the the most obtuse way to talk about the episode that they can talk about. <laughs> like, one episode was about the Rachel haircut from the TV show Friends, and how that affected society, and uh, the haircut in itself. Wow. And it's like, it's such a minor trivial thing. I mean, they're not wrong. Every Like, what they were saying about it is true. But why? (laughs) Why? (laughs) Yeah. All right. December 15, 2017. Tech Stuff Daily canceled. Yeah, Jonathan had to cancel it because I think it got really poor uh, uh, reviews. Or not reviews, but like uh, numbers, ratings. Mm -hmm. And I I find that unfortunate. I think it's just there wasn't enough tech news to justify it every single day. Yep. All right, December 20th, 2017, Culture Kings launched, which Culture Kings is... This is one of their best podcasts. Sorry, it's amazing. Yeah, this is one of their best podcasts. Uh, it Besides Bridget and Eve's Jeffcoat, Eve's was a temporary co-host on How Stuff Works Now, and Bridget on Stuff Mom Never Told You, this was the first time they ever had African-American uh, hosts. And they 
they had this for a very long time where they literally would not have any non non people of color guests Be- or person of color you mean people of color guests yeah okay uh because house of works was a very caucasian and very male company mm-hmm. like I, I forgot to mention chris and caroline they mentioned when they pitched because they had to pitch the idea for stuff mom never told you uh, really to uh to how stuff works to the executives yeah what happened you know how they mentioned it yeah they said when, when, when they were asked why do you think we need this podcast uh one of them said we just thought it'd be great to have a podcast from the perspective of people with breasts. <laughs> That's funny. I'm paraphrasing, but yeah. Because <laughs> they said it a little bit more vulgarly than that. Oh, <laughs> I see. That's funny. Um, but so, yeah, we finally got representation from African-American people, men mm-hmm. even. Mm-hmm. And uh, so, yeah, they have, they're all comedians because they're in the L.A. division, right? Yeah. You have Edgar Montplazier, Jaquise Neal, and Carl Tart. Uh, is he... Carl Tart would eventually leave as he became so famous that he was able to get movie gigs and not have to bother with podcasting oh anymore. Oh my god. <laughs> the other two are kind of jealous of, of him. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> they have their own gigs, though. So Edgar and Jaquise, they're cool. Sometimes they can be a little problematic, but they're really open to discussing that stuff. Yeah, they're really cool. They even like bring them. in their uh, their... Their producer, or what's her name? Sophie. Yes, and on it. Kind of like how Stuff and uh, Stuff You Should Know would, and Josh and, Ch- Josh and Chuck would talk about Jerry sometimes. And they sometimes. constantly joke about how she's the the only white woman who gets to talk on <laughs> yeah, the podcast. Yeah, because they actively try to have guests that are not Caucasian to try to bring inclusion and representation into the industry. And I really appreciate that. Mm-hmm. I mean, as someone who's a Caucasian man, I appreciate it anyway. <laughs> All right, December 25th, 2017, Atlanta Monster launched a nine-month season run. So this was hugely successful, bigger than stuff you should know for a time. Mm-hmm. And it was How Stuff Works' attempt to get into the true crime genre. Yeah, because it's a huge genre that's the really biggest. popular, but it's it's problematic. Honestly, I feel like we should have an episode someday where we just talk about how problematic and consequential it is to have the the true crime genre existing in the first i i hate to be the kind of guy that goes after an entire genre i want to respect art and have and everyone's tastes but at the same time it's like you're glorifying killers and overlooking victims most of the time yeah if you want a good example of why the true crime genre is kind of and sucks uh what's that ted bundy the ted bundy tapes on netflix that's like I think that's prime just prime example. That's a more recent one that's more egregious. But yeah, I still, but if you if you want to see the worst of it, it's like that's an example, a really good example of that. I mean, they do try to paint them the killer as a monster, but I mean it's still centered around him. It's not like the yeah, story's about want, the victims. If you want to make a true crime podcast, make it about the victims. Or about <sighs> the heroes that solved it. Don't 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 glorify the killer. I haven't listened to this one. Maybe it is. I don't know. Yeah, I just I don't I've, know. I've never been a fan of the true crime genre because of how it tends to be. Maybe one day we can have an episode on that. Let's just move on for now. Yeah, all right. December 27, 2017. Car stuff canceled. It lasted for a decade almost. Wow. But, but it was canceled. And I don't really know why. Maybe they just felt their... They had, a thousand episodes was all you can talk about with cars. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe. I mean, I don't think there's that much depth to cars. No offense, I'm not a mechanic, but that's just how I feel about it. Yep. All right. January 23rd, 2018. Required listening launched. What's that one about? It's about the music industry. Oh, But, okay. I mean, glorifying it. They talk to famous people in the music industry. Mm. All right, January 20th, 2018, Dress, the History of Fashion launch. Again, this is another one I haven't listened. This is when they started coming out with so many that I couldn't keep up with all of them. Is that one um, still going? Yep, or? yep. Oh, wow, really? It's about fashion, the history thereof, as <laughs> the name would suggest. <laughs> all right. Again, I'm sorry, because I, I don't know a lot of these ones, because there's just so many at this point. I had to pick and choose. All right. February 22nd, 2018, the soundtrack show launched. It's like required listening, but it's about soundtracks as opposed to, you know, uh, single hits or albums. Mm, okay. 
So, like, there was one episode about, like, the soundtrack of Mario, for example. Oh, cool. March 27, 2018. Nerdificent launch, which, yes! <laughs> it's Ify Nottaway and Danny Fernandez. Both of them are awesome. Yes. And both strangely attractive. I, oh, my I, God, yes! Yeah, like, Danny, like, often posts pictures of her body, even if he does it, too, with his muscular body. Yeah, he's he's hot. But, and also, neither of them are Caucasian. Yeah, great. And I only say strangely because it's a podcast. Because like, like we only know that because they talk about it. Oh, oh, I say strangely because like, if you were on a video thing, you would see that all the time. The oh fact yeah, that but a, if you <laughs> listen to them, you would have no. You would be so surprised by how they look. Yeah. You know, <laughs> yeah. But they talk about it's essentially the sequel to Pop Stuff, mm-hmm. uh, but they're a lot more entertaining about it, and, and they're freaking awesome danny fernandez was actually recently made in cameo in wreck it ralph yeah, 2 which was but, awesome yeah that was awesome i was keeping an eye out for that in the movie yeah but um i do want to say though sometimes they kind of go long form into the history of a show uh-huh. they don't not as much going into the universe which is more what we do mm-hmm. and i prefer the way we do it than they do it yeah i mean obviously they're more popular so i'm not trying to make a comparison i'm just saying <laughs> they do real world history like Kind of what we're doing for the first time in this episode. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, so that's it's interesting. I prefer when they they go, they go more into the opinion side of things as opposed to the history stuff. Because you want to learn about the history of a company, go to tech stuff. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, March 29, 2018. The Question Booth launched a five-month season run. That was a podcast where they would take random people off the street and ask them questions to gauge public opinion. Oh, cool. April 18th, 2018, Behind the Bastards launch, which is awesome. Also one of their best. Yeah, I love this podcast. Uh, Host is Robert Evans, who is a journalist and reporter who has been around the world. Like, he he was in Ukraine for that whole thing with Crimea. Oh, really? Or at least for part of it. And yeah, he... Uh, basically, the podcast talks about the most terrible people in history and kind of makes fun of them, but also explains why they are the most evil people in history. And uh, they do recent history, too. Yes. Very heavily researched, you know, from Hitler oh, yeah, to uh, Stalin to uh, Stevens, Osama bin Laden. To Steven Seagal. Alfred Hitchcock, yep. which we talked about. Yep. Uh, but they also do th- people like Ted Cruz. And also, uh, who was the, the Microsoft? No, the guy who did McAfee. Oh, McAfee. Yeah. Yeah, him. Him. Yeah. Don't install McAfee. It's from a, basically a, an American Colombian warlord. Don't, don't do not Listen to the episode. So many of these more. people are so much more evil than you ever hear about. And that's the point. Yeah, they that's cover the, it up. Yeah, that's the point of the podcast is to uncover all this crap so you know about uh, the worst people. Oh, I recently listened to one about the first American neo-Nazi oh and the God. guy who invented the terms... Uh, white power, white supremacist, white nationalist. Oh my god, really? Or really some combination thereof. Wow. All right, we, we should move on. Yes, yes, yes. All right, April 24th, 2018. Drawn, the story of animation, launched a four-month season run. Tracy Wilson did this one. Again, I'm telling you she wants to do fiction content. She wants to do pop culture stuff. You want to listen to this one eventually, don't you? Yes. It's, it's about animation. I yes. think you would be very interested Like, they have a lot it. of the the people, like the, the Disney employees, big guy, big wigs, and whatnot. People that are experienced in the industry, a lot of women as well. Mm-hmm. It's a good podcast. All right. May 8th, 2018, Afropunk Solution Sessions launched. So uh, there's this uh, event called Afropunk that's all about African-American representation and women and whatnot. Mm-hmm. It's a it's a political thing. Mm-hmm. And Bridget from Stuff Mom Never Told You, who was the first African American woman on the network mm-hmm. besides the uh besides Eves, who is the co-host as well. Mm-hmm. And they together interview a lot of famous African American people. And cool. this was leading up to the 2016 election. So oh. they actually uh no, sorry. Uh, it's 2018. 2018 election, my bad. Mm-hmm. Like do you remember uh, Stacey Abrams who was running for governor yeah. in Georgia? They interviewed her. Oh. That's awesome. Yeah. All right. May 10th, 2018. We Knows Parenting launched. It's a show about parading your kids around and being bad at parenting. 
I kind of want to listen to it. I really don't I like give a kids. crap about children like that. I like kids. I mean, I like some kids if I get to know them. I don't just like the species of children. <laughs> They're not a separate species. I like you go out into like a forest and you're like, oh, look, that's that's a rhino. I like rhinos. Like, well, no, I haven't gotten to know the rhino well, yet. I like babysitting. I mean, I, mean, I want the rhinos to be kids. happy and live a good life. I want the children to live a good life. It doesn't mean we're going to be friends. I don't know you yet. <laughs> <laughs> I like uh, I like babysitting and playing games. I'm good kids. with kids. Yeah. Believe it or not. <laughs> yeah, I know you are. All right. May 30th, 2018. Committed launched. It's a podcast about love and marriage, so I never... No, it's... They don't just do love and marriage. They do any sort of relationship between two people. And it's a comedy. Like, they do a comedy. No, you're thinking of a completely different podcast. Am I? Yes. Yes. This one's about love and marriage. And oh. because of that, I haven't listened to it because I don't care oh, about love and marriage. Okay. Okay, love and, then. Love and marriage are overrated. <laughs> June 20th, 2018, the Control Group launched a three-month season run, which was an awesome... This is their first fiction podcast. Yes, very first one. And it was really good, very yeah, well produced. Was. It's about like the 1960s and there uh, being secret government experiments and like asylums and whatnot. Mm -hmm. The main character is a, is a prostitute, a woman who is caught up in this like CIA conspiracy theory. Mm -hmm. or, con or not con conspiracy event mm -hmm. <laughs> and there's this unethical doctor it's it's you know it's radar it's but really interesting really good i'd like to talk about maybe okay maybe one day we have a follow-up where we specify just this one podcast and we go into the fictional universe that they have established cool all right june 25th 2018 cabinet of curiosities launched uh, so there's this guy, Aaron Mankey, who had like the second biggest podcast in the world or mm -hmm. something. I don't know if it was second, but it was called Lore. They got him on and they made him do a podcast for How Stuff Works. What do, what's the podcast about? It's fun facts slash history. Oh, okay. Again, I haven't really listened to it because it's not a new thing. It's not unique to me. Yeah. June 27, 2018. This Day in History class launch. Which is a spinoff from Stuff You Missed in History class, but it's daily. Mm-hmm. I think Eves does this one, too. All right. July 10th, 2018, Couples Therapy Launch. This is the one I was thinking. Yeah, of. it's a comedy one about relationships. I forgot the hosts that do it, but they're two comedians. All right. August 7th, 2018, Commune Launched, which is what? Okay, so after they got to a certain level of success, How Stuff Works is like, we need to appeal more to the, the less progressive wing. Uh-huh. What's it about? Commune is about, like, believing in yourself and community and i think religion i haven't actually listened to it but that's the kind of vibe i got from the trailers oh okay whatever all right uh august 19 2018 u-turns launched basically the same thing yeah i guess so except i think it's made from the wife of dr oz a very problematic person yep all right, so How Stuff Works also acquired Ethnically Ambiguous. Yeah, sometime around this time, they acquired these previously existing podcasts. Their hosts had been on the Daily Zeitgeist, and they decided, you know what, let's bring these into the family. Ah, okay, cool. Ethnically Ambiguous, which is an awesome podcast. About uh, the perspective of the Middle East in the world, by hosted by uh, Anna and Shireen, mm -hmm. and Iranian and Syrian Americans, and... Oh my goodness, the injustice done to Palestinians. And I mean, many. All the stuff you learn about. And that's just one of them. There's so many oppressed groups over there. And guess who's the oppressors? Hmm? hmm? America. We're one of them. We're, yep. the, we're the enablers. Yep. All right, the Bechtel cast, too, which is pretty cool. Jamie Loftus and Caitlin Durante. Yes. Oh, I, should, I didn't say uh, Anna, Anna Hosnier. Yeah. And Shireen Yunus were ethnically ambiguous as hosts. Yeah. But okay, the Bechdel cast, they do the Bechdel test. You know, we did an episode on that. Mm -hmm. And they do it to different movies and whatnot. Almost every mo single movie fails. Yeah, and they just talk about movies. Captain the movies. Marvel passed with flying colors. Yeah, I can imagine. <laughs> okay, so after this, we got to talk about something else. iHeartRadio. All right, so... 
September 13, 2018, System 1, formerly Open Mail, sold how stuff works to iHeartMedia. So, yeah, they make iHeartRadio. It's this huge, already existing podcast network. But they had, you know, it's weird. How Stuff Works was like the original guys, but iHeartMedia skyrocketed in terms of, you know, growth and gross and money and whatnot, right? Mm -hmm. They have their whole app and their whole brand and whatnot. Mm -hmm. And they incorporate how stuff works. The reason this is a, a big thing, uh, unlike the other purchases in the past, is okay. they've integrated how stuff works. It, how stuff works isn't a separate entity anymore. Oh, I see. Well, I mean, it kind of is, but they try to wipe that. They put iHeart branding on all how stuff works stuff now, yeah. literally on all of the images for the podcast. I don't really like that because I'm kind of a how stuff works fan, mm -hmm. but it starts to become harder to tell them apart. But yeah. there are some podcasts that come out after this point, after the merger, that are owned by How Stuff Works. Okay. Which is owned by our heart media. Mm -hmm. All right. September 18, 2018. Daniel and Jorge explain the universe launched. Which is hosted by Daniel and Jorge. One of them, is uh, Daniel, is a physicist and Jorge is a cartoon artist. They explain scientific concepts. I love it because I love astronomy. All right. September 26, 2018, Food Stuff rebranded as Saver. Yep. And they started touring around the country, but it's otherwise the same. Yep. September 28, 2018, Happy Face launched a four month season run. It's another true crime podcast uh, told from the point of view of the daughter of one of the criminals. Yep. October 3rd, 2018, Required Listening canceled. I guess they ran out of their budget for that. iHeartMedia didn't want to continue it. October 3rd, 2018, Short Stuff launched. It's a spinoff from Stuff You Should Know. Now they'll make shorter ones like they used to back in the day. Mm -hmm. October 3rd, 2018, Unobscured launched for a three-month season run. This one was actually really good. Also by Aaron Mankey from uh, Cabinet of Curiosities. Cool. But this is about the Salem Witch uh, Trials. Oh, yeah, yeah. You told me about that. And those. they go really in detail about it. And they, they really throw away a lot of the myths that people have. Basically, if you've heard about it, probably everything you've heard about it's wrong, except for the fact that women died. In fact, so listen to this to find out the truth. If you, if you know anything about it, you probably blame women lying about conditions right and that's why it happened uh -huh. that's actually not the reason it happened that was one small facet of it it was spoiler alert it was ptsd yep all right october 10th 2018 helen gone launched a three-month season run another true true crime let's move on october 11 2018 alchemy this launch we did their quote at the beginning it's an improv podcast and it's yes. amazing they do user suggestions i love the improv every thursday i live for alchemy this yeah it's great all right, October 17, 2018, The End of the World launched a three-month season run. And this is another amazing podcast. This one's from Josh, and this one was so well-researched. It's about the idea of existential threats and how we are ever more risking violating them or encountering them as the years go by. Yeah, it's a pre-recorded, like, sound, oh, sound edited? What do you call that? Produced sound produced podcast and, and it was an amazing series yes all right october 25th 2018 creature feature launched okay wait i just want to say something about the end of the world yeah think about this the idea of a berserker drone is a drone that can make more of itself and they can then like attack and swarm right mm -hmm. the fact that this could possibly exist even though it doesn't necessarily exist this the fact that it could begs uh, the question why don't we see them Oh, if yeah, if any civilization that. in the universe ever made one, we would see them attacking us right now. Yeah. So right. we'll, okay, that's just that's just one example. Yeah. Okay. Let's okay. keep on going. Creature features hosted by I think her name was Kate. Uh, she was a biologist, and they talk about animals and uh, they like they try to make the uh, animal biology more relatable. Yes, and she also runs the Twitter account. Um, what's it called? Some some bird thing. Yeah. But. <laughs> The thing that really baffles me with this podcast is they left it on a cliffhanger. Well, we'll get to that. All right. November 2nd, 2018, Afropunk Solution Sessions canceled. The Afropunk event kind of wrapped up in the whole midterms and everything, so they canceled it right at, like, at the midterms. Yeah. All right. November 19, 2018, The Brink launched. Since Tech Stuff covered so many companies, they decided to spin it off in its own podcast. Ah, Jonathan okay. Strickland and this other woman, I forget her name, uh, that she she's new. They they do this. Okay. 11 uh, November 19, 2018, Broken Hearts launched through my season run. This is another true crime. All right. Uh December 3rd, 2018, Invention launched. 
Uh, this is a spinoff from Stuff to Blow Your Mind, mm -hmm. where they talk about famous inventions throughout history, Robert Lamb and someone else. Yep, December 17, 2018, Family Secrets launch. I think this is another true crime. I forgot what her name was. Uh, yeah, Danny Shapiro. Oh, uh, yeah. Is it Danny? Or am I, I thinking of I Danny Fernandez? I don't know. <laughs> anyway, it's about being lied to in your childhood, so I could kind of relate. I haven't listened to it yet, though. Mm -hmm. The summer 19, 2018, the soundtrack show canceled. That's unfortunate. All right, December 20th, 2018, Atlanta Monster rebranded as Monster the Zodiac Killer for another run. Because basically talking about another killer now. Yeah. For a they, second they, go around. Yep. All right. Uh, it's not Ted Cruz. Yep. Sorry, they, they use that joke immediately. Oh, of course they do. <laughs> January. Not that I've listened to it, but. Yeah. January 2nd, 2019, Creature Feature canceled, sort of. It seems to be on a weird hiatus, and it's in the middle of a two-parter, so oh, I don't understand sucks. what they're trying to do, but it hasn't been officially canceled, but they just haven't released episodes. January 31st, 2019, the Ron Burgundy podcast launched for a season run. They and Will Ferrell hosts this one as the Ron Burgundy character yeah, from Anchorman. Good. I like it. it. I mean, he's he's a terrible misogynist, but that's kind of the point. Yeah, the character he plays is a terrible misogynist. Yes. Uh, it's... Some parts are hilarious. Some parts aren't my cup of tea and are very dry humor, even though I normally like dry humor. Mm -hmm. I feel some parts are just underproduced in a way. Yeah. I don't know. March I think I think it's ultimately a good podcast, but I think Alchemy This is funnier. Yeah. All right. March 1st, 2019, before breakfast launched. It's a time tip saving podcast. Okay. Acquired by High Stuff works after iHeart. Hysteria Fifty One acquired. It's a What's more that? it's a more comedy focused conspiracy theory podcast. Okay, ambiguous whether it belongs to How Stuff Works or iHeart. Yeah, so there's now after they've been incorporated by iHeart, there's a lot of iHeart podcasts that get advertised on the How Stuff Works network, and it's not clear who they own are owned by. Mostly because anything owned by How Stuff Works is inherently owned by iHeart. Uh, okay. So we'll just go through and list these because I haven't listened to a single one of them. Ask a Manager, Disgraceland, How to Money, Listen to Mario, Mady Matters, On Air with Ryan Seacrest, Pratt Cass, The Dr. Oz Podcast, The Fatherly Podcast. Yeah. I mean, How Stuff Works has so many podcasts, I just I wouldn't even want to venture. <laughs> yep. All right. Upcoming for How Stuff Works, Transgenesis and Second Civil War. Now these, these I am aren't excited out yet, about. but they're, they're going to release these. Uh, now, on How Stuff Works Now, one time Robert Lamb and Eve Jeffco and someone else, they worked together to create a transhumanist episode of that podcast. It was very different from anything they had ever made. Mm -hmm. It was really interesting. This seems to be How Stuff Works finally letting them make that into a podcast idea. Oh, that's cool. It's called, uh, apparently it takes place far in the future after the second oil age or something. Oh, that's cool. And it comes out sometime, I think, in April, although it's been delayed already. But I'm really looking forward to, to how it turns out. Mm -hmm. And then the second Civil War is something that Jack and Jack O'Brien and Robert Evans are working on. Oh, yes. Of course, those two would be oh, doing it. Wait, uh, I forgot. That's the second Civil War. That's what they, they call it sometimes. But the official name for it is it could happen here. Oh, wow. Because that's the thing where people say, like, it couldn't happen here, right? Wait, wait, wait. Um, who did the end of the world? Josh from Stuff Josh. You Should Know. Oh, okay. I, I For some reason, I thought he would be in on this too, but apparently not. No, because, I mean, I think this is really Robert Evans from Behind the Bleeps, baby. Yeah, Robert Evans is amazing, though. I'm so excited for this. Because he's talked several times about like the idea of a second civil war, mm -hmm. that we're so ideologically split that we could have one. Now, the big problem to this is the ideological split is not geographically based, mm -hmm. right? Yep. Uh, but... He also talks about how most of the people that are concerned about there being a second civil war are the alt-right yep. and the ultra-conservative. They are also the ones that own the majority of the guns. So also the, all, probably also the ones who do the most threatening of using them. Yeah. <laughs> if you don't believe me, look at all the threats against politicians within the last year. Yep. Almost all of them are towards the Democrats. Mm-hmm. And yeah, there's shootings all the time now, you know, mm -hmm. so it's going to talk about how that's going to be a reality. It's going to be interesting to see what a progressive person 
thinks might lead to a second civil war and what that might look like. Because honestly, I don't know. I think it's plausible, but the fact that it's not geographically based, the fact that we're so intertwined despite being desperate ideologies makes me wonder what that would look like. Yeah, so it's interesting to speculate how it would be. And you can't just suppose that there'd be some type of migration of dividing the north and south and telling everyone to move into the right half. Mm -hmm. Because as we know, most migrations uh, lead to genocide. Yep. (sighs) Wow, this got dark. All right. uh, By the way, the most current shooting as of this episode. Uh, I just want to... I would want to... Okay, fine. I don't know. Does talking about a recent shooting, is that going to make our episode explicit? Because I wasn't planning on this one being marked as explicit. Uh, I guess fine. You know what? Okay, just talk. just talk about the facts. And, I mean, just don't glorify the killer and I think you'll be okay. I'm not even going to mention them. I don't well, I don't know, know, I don't know what you, why you were bringing up. I don't know what you're going to say. Um, Christview Church in New Zealand, most recent one. So, okay. we'll, we'll see how long it is and how many have happened. By the time we do another one. Oh, that was your point. I see. Yeah. I see. And that's just the one that's been most recently publicized. And that was one of the very few that wasn't in America. So okay. we'll see. That's, we're, we're getting a little into the details of why we like uh, Robert Evans and his work. So we're interested to see more of what he can make. Yeah, absolutely. Yes, I brought, I brought it back around. <laughs> Sorry. It's okay. It's okay. I understand. Yeah. There's so much to go off on here. Uh, we got like a minute left. Any Anything you want to shout out? Any stuff of how stuff works that you like or anything? Um, I just really think how stuff works is doing really good work. And I hope they keep going, and I hope they continue. Yeah, many of their podcasts, I believe, legitimately make the world a better place. Yeah, I I completely agree. I feel like they've improved my life, not just in keeping me entertained during the most boring parts of my life, but also uh, informing me and and countless others, you know, with you know the truth that matters. You know, if we ever raise a child, we should have them listen to how stuff works in their teen years. So they like this is the education they got. <laughs> It'd be more how than stuff. America will give them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like you know America just doesn't teach you anything after World War Two. Yeah, You'll be I lucky know. if you get to that. I know. <laughs> And you know why, right? Yes, I know. Because it's a lot harder to paint yourself as the good guy in the more recent years. Yep. Yeah, and you know, okay, we're being really progressive in this episode. Deal with it, because that's how How Stuff Works does, and that's how we're going to (laughs) do. Yeah. And uh, if if you want to download or donate to our Patreon (laughs) (laughs) to help feed some starving artists, that would be nice. Yep. Otherwise, I don't know, we have an email, gametheorems at gmail.com. If you want to talk to us. All right. I think this is good. Maybe maybe next time we can do a deep dive on a particular uh, fictional podcast. Mm-hmm. There's the control group, Transgenesis. Maybe Robert Evans' new work. Mm-hmm. Maybe he'll propose a fictional scenario. We'll see. Mm-hmm. Oh, I just wanted to add this because in the time it took uh, between we recorded this episode and it going public... Uh, it couldn't happen here. Actually, it went public. So that podcast, even though we talked about it soon coming out, well, it's out now. It's just weird. That was a very quick turnaround. And Transgenesis is still on the way. But yeah, it turns out to be just as terrifying and great as we thought it was. Oh, also, we completely neglected to mention that Stuff They Don't Want You to Know and Culture Kings had a rap battle or a, like a, a, a rap beef. That was awesome. Okay, that's it. Bye. Bye.